Three days of riveting discussions. I think the feedback has been tremendous. Over 90 international organizations, close to 150 international investors, and a number of government and local private sector interests revving up support for the Jamaican economy. It's all about business. The Jamaica Investment Forum, GIF 2015, was the island's second international conference held to provide investors with detailed information on business opportunities in the country. It was organized by the Jamaica Promotions Corporation, JAMPRO, at the Montego Bay Convention Center in St. James. Our goal is to facilitate win-win investments that will bring you a good rate of return and also create the jobs we desire for our people. My government is inviting you to do business with Jamaica, is committed to nurturing the enabling environment for investments to succeed. We had um, over 160 business meetings, and that's a new feature which we didn't have in the first iteration. And that is because we wanted to make sure that business got done. So what came out of the conference? Well, in addition to one-on-one -one discussions, during the breakout sessions, participants were given a detailed account of the investment sectors being targeted, like logistics. We realized our ambitions of becoming the logistics hub of the Americas and the fourth pillar in the global trading system. Agriculture. The import bill in and of itself um, provides a large, huge opportunities for investment and there are other areas that we need to look into. Manufacturing. We're seeing real expansion now into electrical, electronics, printing, packaging and paper, certainly big opportunities. You can bring in the raw material and go through the conversion process. Tourism. With JAMPRO's uh, health and wellness tourism strategy, there's an opportunity to not only focus on building the healthcare infrastructure, but also to look at service development. Business process outsourcing. It's the most important aspect of this industry is the human component. And this is where we believe we have a tremendous strength. And international financial services. Jamaica is well positioned to leverage our reputation as a well-resourced and a transparent jurisdiction. We are in compliance with all the international standards on money laundering and on tax transparency at the moment. Investment comes from confidence. And I can tell you that we have major investment going on in our plants now, all around driving efficiency. How are we going to be competitive on a global basis? And with endorsements like that from the Jamaica Manufacturers Association, participants were invited to examine the opportunities in the priority sectors, invest, partner with other Jamaican companies if necessary, make a good return on their investment, and help to contribute to the wealth and prosperity of our nation. The talks have borne fruit. I believe that we have, to use a baseball term, hit a home run, or in cricket, a six. There are two um, hotel projects which I feel, even at this early stage, um, fairly certain will happen over the next um, two to three years. And people need to understand that it does take that time for it to unfold. What we're going to do is we're not going to just give you infrastructure for BPO. We're going to provide world-class BPO infrastructure along with complementary services at cybersecurity, technology-driven healthcare, and we're also looking for focusing on telemedicine. Uh, we have again had very strong interest in the BPO sector and we see a number of seats, as we see, coming out of it and a lot of new players moving in and we think that there will be uh, some expansion in that area. I think we are successful in providing a very deal-making oriented ecosystem. We have been successful in advancing the discussion of certain projects that we have been working on and we have generated some new leads in the process. I've been able to meet um, suppliers and, and potential uh, development projects. It's been well organized, uh, the food has been good and uh, it's just been uh, wonderful networking. Very engaging, informative, insightful. Everything has been fantastic and I'm looking forward to coming to the next one. This is something that we need to maintain as a tradition 
uh, if not every three years, at least every two years will be good. So we can invite, invite a lot of investors. And amidst discussions on doing business in Jamaica, participants got a chance to taste, feel, and experience aspects of Jamaica's rich and vibrant culture through various cocktail receptions and an occasion to remember the amazing Jamaica night experience. So Jamaica is poised for even greater investments in the coming years, thanks to the second staging of the Jamaica Investment Forum 2015. It has introduced scores of investors to business opportunities in Jamaica, laid the groundwork for future investments and forged partnerships with a number of stakeholders that will lead to the growth and prosperity of our nation.